Welcome to Chapter EX. Let's see where this leads. Ouch, ouch, my head still hurts. It's so mean of those kids to leave me all exhausted like this. <laughs> you might think I'm doing nothing, but the truth is, I know exactly what all of you are up to. It's quite amusing to act like you don't know and watch all of this unfold. Well, anyway, all this arguing among yourselves won't get us anywhere. What you need is someone to make your imagination a proper reality. With that in mind, let's do something that deserves a little recognition today, shall we? <laughs> the blurring alarm indicated a problem with the system starts once more. It's evident that the lack of a leader during this emergency is probably due to a hangover. We shouldn't expect any help. It's just something we did on our own, without asking the leader's permission. While it may deviate a bit from the original intention, it serves a greater purpose, so even if it becomes a problem later on, we can find a way to work around it. Okay then, let's start synchronizing. Our fight to save the world begins here. For now, Ryugo puts aside the uncertainty of whether it's a, it was okay to make changes to the functionality without the leader's permission. Instead, he decides to concentrate on his ambitious goals of facing the mysterious enemies in battle. YouTube notifications, didn't expect it to come immediately in a battle. Damn. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Battle this battle. Should take care of it. Oh, beast. Here we go, this one. Using excess, ex, excessive negativity won't lead to any suppression effect. The attempt to suppress with negativity can sometimes backfire and have unintended consequences. I guess that's a possibility. Perhaps I should consider changing my approach to communication. Rather than denying, that, denying my intentions, it seems more beneficial to allocate specific time for what I want to do and take a break from it. Uh -huh. Yeah, being a leader requires a lot of thinking, because if you start to question your control, no one wants to follow you. To overcome that, you need to be able to see through them, and you need to be able to quickly recognize what they want. 
and what they're trying to do. You must be the leader of the tuners here. How did you find me? Did you follow me? No, it can't be. We just happened to run into each other because of a hangover. As I'm listening to you, it seems like you're going through something that I might be able to help with. So what are you going to do? Remove me? Won't break pandemonium. Aha. I'm not really interested in that. I've heard rumors of pandem pandemonium, but I'm not interested in that at all. Why are you looking at me like that? At first, the appearance seems suitable, but let's consider the age. Hmm, well, there shouldn't be any significant problems in getting along with the kiddos. What are you trying to say? Do you want me to cut to the chase? How would you like to be our ally? I have a feeling I know what you want. I'll make sure it's a decision you won't regret. So would you like to come with me? Unable to understand the cognitive construction. I feel a sense of danger, so it's best to run away for now. No need to be embarrassed. <laughs> Are you seriously running away? Well, I must say, I never missed my targets. Oh. Pay attention and don't get distracted. Seriously. Something goes wrong here. You'll be the one in danger. I felt like it. Like I heard the leader's voice coming from somewhere. So I turned around and checked, but instead of receiving praise for my good work, Hugo's cri criticism came flying at me and jabbing my ears. It's a misconception. Just a misconception. We've had 91 crashes and bugs so far, and the leader was present in those situations only twice. While we can only assume the probability of the leader appearing is 2%. Both of those instances were when the leader passed out in front of us due to a hangover. We don't think the leader could have helped us in a sober state. In other words, there's no chance of the leader showing up. And even if they do, we can't expect any help. There's no point in having any hope. We should finish things quickly. Any objections? There was no denying Ryogo's words, backed up by indisputable stat statistics. Therefore, we decided to concentrate on the final enemies before us. No shit. There we go. I only asked for a sample, but now you've gone ahead and prepared a contingency plan. Should I have bothered listening to overly cautious princesses' words that were no of no use? Well, if it doesn't matter. Disaster can't be stopped just because you noticed it before. Alright, it's time for the surprise event to begin. Let's see how well they can handle things with their imperfect pre preparation. Hey you, I told you. If you help me build this thing, the master would be happy. What's going on? I lost contact. Master isn't here yet. We have to find the master before anything happens. Hmm, is that so? This must be an emergency. Since the princess is out of town for an emergency, we're gonna need to need a substitute. What do you say? Didn't you hear we lost control of the master? Aren't you worried? Shut up, Ten Can. Since she's a thoughtful princess, she must have gone to a bunch of things. That's we're a team now. In an emergency like this, we have to stick together. Understand, Tin Can? I understand. All right, shall we get started? Let's talk about a surprise gate o opening plan that will surely astonish the princess. Huh. That, that was it? Really? Seriously.
I guess I can continue on to another video. I guess I'll see all of you guys later. Peace to Christmas, everybody. Bye.